ABC 36 on your side. Well, our ABC 36 political analysts are back. Trey Watson and Dr. Stephen Voss talking primary election day. All right, let's get into voter turnout now. Obviously, weather playing uh, an impact certainly for a lot of voters. Uh, how's that going to shake things up if we stay the course with the low voter, voter turnout? Oh, uh, we know traditionally rain depresses turnout in urban and suburban areas, but it helps turn out in rural areas because you have people that work out in the fields or you know outside aren't likely aren't doing what they what they would, would otherwise be doing. So. Sure. But I will say turnout was projected to be low before the rain. Mm -hmm. And so you would tend to think that the diehards who were going to vote, the rain's not going to uh, deter them. So I don't know how much lower the drive numbers, but I think you're probably looking in the 9 to 12% turnout range. Okay. Yeah, on balance, bad weather pulls turnout down by maybe 1% uh, with rain like this. It's not usually huge. Uh, people didn't want to vote already, and turnout was expected to be low already. Uh, this uh, campaign had a lot of negativity, which makes people not want to vote, but not a lot of the anger that gets you to want to go vote to defeat somebody. To make change happen, right? Uh, let's revisit the gubernatorial candidates. Campaign fundraising has been really interesting to watch. We know Kelly Kraft overwhelmingly uh, beat out the other candidates with fundraising. Um, we saw that evident really with the attack ads against Daniel Cameron in particular. Does money matter? Uh, I think it does to a point. Uh, it certainly gets you a voice, but you know Kelly Craft, we know her in Central Kentucky, but she's still a first-time candidate sure. that comes with all the drawbacks and lack of name ID that comes with that. So she had to spend more money, whereas Ryan Quarles had won twice statewide, Daniel Cameron's won once, and is kind of a celebrity candidate uh, speaking at the national convention and everything. So you know, I think Kraft had to spend more money if she was going to be in the ballgame. Money matters, but it brings diminishing returns. Mm -hmm. um, I, no matter how well Kraft does, at the end of the day, her price per vote is going to look look pretty expensive. Uh, uh, but, you know, if Alan Keck had had some of that money, um, or one of the other candidates who are struggling to get attention, yeah. then money does matter quite a bit. Uh, after several debates, Republican candidates really all taking aim at the incumbent, Governor Bashir, with those pandemic policies in particular. In hindsight, right, it's always easier to say, I could have done, should have done. Um, are voters concerned with that, in your opinion, or more so on the local issues like crime, the economy, education, natural disasters? I think it's a, it's a mixed bag. I think the people were generally okay with some of the early COVID stuff, mm -hmm. but the problem for uh, Governor Bashir is going to be when they start talking about uh, the schools, we were one of the last states to reopen our schools. The mom and pop stores forced, forced to be closed while Walmart could sell the same product. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that there's some more uh, individual policies that he can be attacked on. But again, uh, talk about money. It's going to take money and good messaging to, to get that across in the fall to take down a governor who is very popular. Real quick, Dr. Voss. A lot of the GOP electorate wants to beat Bashir. What Daniel Cameron needed to convince them is that he was willing to do so. So he advertised against Bashir. A lot more to break down coming up in our 6 o'clock hour. Thank you, gentlemen, for staying with us. We'll be back with more news after this.